as we take a look at the full-time highlights here at Sabina Park for the second leg semi-final. Mount Pleasant were pretty sloppy early in this piece and that effort from distance was comfortable for Shaquan Davis to make the save. And then one of the best saves we saw tonight, Davis full stretch to his left, denying Javain Bryan. Ball inside looking for McCullough, the header of Bryan, and then the through ball to Demario Phillips, who will hit the upright. Topi found Devontae Campbell inside the box, the turn, the shot, accurate in the four far corner. First of two goals tonight for the 20 year old. That was his third goal of the campaign. The academy graduate doing wonderfully well tonight. And uh, barely getting a, a foot in there. Daniel Green proven to be a nuisance, winning that one, feeding Bailey, who should have buried it. Foster was in the way. But Green worked his socks off today. He really did. McCullough with the ball inside. And, well, Bailey reading that one. I've had a Blair a little bit nervy at the back there. And then Devontae Campbell. Just look at this. And the finish too. Neatly done. By the academy graduate. Took it close to the touchline. Got the bet of Jaheim Brown inside the area. And then snuck in that one between Kemar Foster and the near post. Foster getting a touch, but not enough. And 2-0 uh, on the night for Mount Pleasant with that goal. Christian. And this from Dyer, but this was even worse from Shaquille Dyer. That was insanity in a bottle. Got the red card. And then an opportunity. Blair touches it inside. Fletcher denied by Davis. The kick taken. Davis again coming up trumps and then Brown with that delightful delivery inside to Keith Simpson who buried it. Simpson getting his second goal of the campaign and with just a couple minutes to go in stoppage time, Waterhouse, they felt they had a lifeline. He wasn't too optimistic though, the whistle blew shortly after. Mount Pleasant, 10 shots, 5 on target. Waterhouse with 9 shots, 4 on target. We saw 22 fouls in this game. Mount Pleasant committing more of them. And uh, 2 yellow cards, 1 red card, which is not indicated on this graphic card. Of course, Mount Pleasant uh, with Shaquille Br Dyer being sent off. Uh, 4 corner kicks each. Possession, 57% for Mount Pleasant in the end. Yeah, and Devante Campbell today is man of the match. Who else could it be? He had a phenomenal game. Talk us through how you're feeling after the game. Well, I'm feeling wonderful to, get to, to lead my team to the, to the, into the finals. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not me alone, you know. It's, it's a team thing, but I'm glad to, to put my team into the finals. And, you know, so often throughout the season, you're always doing those amazing dribbles, beating a lot of players, and you're not really credited with the, what I think you, the respect that you should get because of how good you are. How does it feel now to get those two goals in such a big occasion? 
you know, in throughout the season and, and in training, my teammates always telling me that, you know, you got to you got to get the, the end product right because it, you're you're beating two three players at match time, but you just gotta fit the pass or score the goal. So that's that's what I did today, and and I'm so grateful. I you know last season. This, around this time, you got into some really good form and you really fired Mount Pleasant into that final and you got them over the line as well. I'm sure you're looking to repeat. Yes, yes I am. You know, all the great players in the world, they look forward to the, to the big moments and, and that's, that's what I tell myself. I, I, I want the big moment to, to, to prove myself, to do great things and show the world that I'm, I'm here and I can do great things in big moments. Well, excellent performance today and best of luck in the final as well. All right, thanks much. Yeah, Devante Campbell there, what a player. Has been one of the best players in the league this season and continue to prove it. <laughs> Coach, it was a tough start to the game. Your team had some moments. You probably should have taken the lead as well. But it just goes to show what happens when you don't take your chances. Um, I mean, credit to more players. Um, they, they, they do what they do after the win. Um, it was simple. We, we had to be perfect today. We weren't perfect. But we were good in most areas. Um, I mean, as I said, I'm um, unfortunately in front of the goal. We, 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 we weren't um, clinically in front of the goal today. And I think that caused the game. The goal in, um, in, in adding one. So, you know, we'd have to just learn from this moment and come again. But, I mean, I can't underestimate um, the opponent. Secondly, the, the season where we have um, to reach thus far. I mean, it's tremendous. I proud of the lads. Yeah, um, I definitely agree with you in terms of the effort that your team showed and how far that they have come. But just going on more so onto the game today, what do you think that your team could have done a little bit better to really get over that line and be perfect, as you said? Um, just put our chance. I mean, we created enough chance to get at least um, two goals today. Um, you know, we didn't know that if we don't make a mistake today, we could have won the game. And we should do it. We, 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 we slack off two times um, um, in the same areas and, and it cost us two goals. Yeah, it was the wide areas that was your undoing today. But coach, I think that you had a pretty good season. You said the same. So best of luck going forward and, you know, just keep on going. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, Marcel Gill there. So many times uh, some disappointment in the playoffs, but he has to be very proud of his Waterhouse team. This man has to be pretty proud of his team as well. Coach Theodore Whitmore, coach, your team came out today. You look like a team possessed. You had a lot of uh, tactical changes. First of all, walk us through those changes and how do you feel they impacted the game? Well, yes, um, after the first leg, um, we would have seen some weakness in the, in the Waterhouse team. So we, 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 we made the adjustment, you know, to, to capitalise on that. And I, I, I thought it, it bear fruit for us. I think um, we let back the, the Waterhouse team in the game after Dyer, Dyer's red card. But um, we hold on to the victory. Yeah, I'm glad you even mentioned that red card. What are your thoughts on that incident? Well, it, it's just unacceptable. Trust me, it's just unacceptable at, at, at a crucial time at the game. But um, I think the guys dealt with it well, and we move on. Yeah, but on to the positives. You're on to yet another final. Mount Pleasant are doing great things. You have such a great squad as well. I'm sure you're feeling pretty confident going into that game, whoever you play. Well, yes, um, we are in the final, so we, we just wait and see our opponent. But again, we, we, we go back to the Waterhouse. Um, if you're looking in the playoff, we, we yet to see a Waterhouse come from a goal down or two goal down. So once we could get that go ahead goal this afternoon, we know it would be difficult for the Waterhouse team. Well, excellent performance today, coach, for the most part, and best of luck next week as well. Thank you very much. Man.